In the silent depths of space, where no air carries sound and light takes years to travel, the James Webb Space Telescope floats silently, peering back through time. Designed to capture the faintest signals from the universe's early moments, the telescope has made humanity question everything we thought we knew. But on a recent scan, it detected something no one expected, and what it found could change the fate of humanity. On April 11, 2025, a quiet alert echoed through NASA's deep space monitoring systems. It wasn't a malfunction. It wasn't a software error. It was a strange anomaly. An object, massive, fast-moving, and reflecting light in ways never before recorded. The James Webb Space Telescope had just captured data that didn't fit into any known pattern. Not a planet, not a comet, not a star, and certainly not a black hole. What it saw was terrifying. Project lead Dr. Helen Saros was the first to lay eyes on the image. Her team was conducting a routine scan of a deep space region in the Draco constellation when a silhouette appeared. At first, it seemed like an artifact, a glitch, but as the data streamed in, the silhouette moved against the natural flow of surrounding cosmic matter. It wasn't drifting like space debris or swirling like a galaxy. It was moving deliberately, targeted, cutting across gravitational fields instead of being pulled by them. Initial estimates revealed the object was at least the size of Pluto, but with a structure far too symmetrical. Think of a black, almost metallic sphere, rotating slowly, reflecting only the most specific wavelengths. The strangest part? It was cold. Dead cold. Colder than space. That's physically impossible. And yet, it was real. Within hours, international space agencies, ESA, JAXA, ISRO, were notified. Each ran their own scans. Each confirmed the same horrifying truth. Something colossal was heading through deep space, and it was accelerating. Media outlets didn't catch on yet. The public didn't know. But in the underground channels of scientific forums, rumors exploded. Some claimed it was a rogue moon. Others, a long-lost alien probe. But nothing matched the data. Dr. Saros made a statement behind closed doors. This is not natural. It's controlled. It's watching. That single sentence sent a chill through the hearts of everyone in the room. Back at the Webb Telescope's command center, engineers noticed another anomaly. The object had suddenly changed direction, not because of gravity, but by propulsion. Deliberate propulsion. It was then that the real fear began. In the days following the detection, the James Webb Telescope picked up more than just images. It captured signals, faint pulses, seemingly random at first until a brilliant cryptographer named Arjun Rao from the Indian Space Research Organization noticed a chilling pattern. The pulses were mathematical. Prime numbers, the Fibonacci sequence, and finally, a binary pattern that translated to a universal constant, pi. It was a message. Something out there wasn't just moving, it was sending. A secret task force was formed between NASA, SETI, and the European Space Agency. Their mission? Decode the message and determine if Earth was in danger. By the end of the week, the team had translated 12 sequences. The final one stunned even the skeptics. Sequence 12. You are not first. What did it mean? Was it a warning? A statement? A threat? Dr. Soros convened a global emergency meeting. The object, now dubbed the Harbinger, was still on its course, but analysts realized it had slowed, as if waiting, watching. As researchers tried to understand it, the Hubble telescope was turned in its direction. The image's return showed a disturbing detail. The object wasn't alone. Surrounding it was a field of smaller units, dozens, possibly hundreds, like drones or satellites, orbiting the main mass like a swarm. But here's what terrified scientists the most. Each of those smaller objects was aligning in a pattern resembling Earth's own satellite systems. 
It was as if the harbinger was mapping us, learning, mirroring. At the same time, Earth-based telescopes started detecting gravitational fluctuations, not in space, but beneath Earth's crust, as if the harbinger's presence was triggering something within our own planet. Could it be resonating with Earth's core? Was it some kind of key? Meanwhile, SETI received an echo signal from the direction of the harbinger, a deep, pulsing hum. When translated into audio range, it sounded disturbingly organic, like a heartbeat. Dr. Saros, now clearly shaken, made her first public statement. We have waited our whole civilization to find life, but this, this is not the life we imagined. It's ancient, it's beyond us, and it has seen us. Panic started to ripple through underground media. Government agents began scrubbing forums, silencing whistleblowers, and locking down observatories. It was no longer about discovery. It was about containment. On May 9, 2025, 28 days after detection, the Harbinger stopped. Just outside the Kuiper Belt, the object came to a complete halt, perfectly stationary. Telescopes around the world were aimed at it. Nothing changed, but the tension across Earth's scientific community was unbearable. That night, James Webb picked up one final signal. It wasn't numbers this time. It was an image. Pixel by pixel, the data streamed in, forming a picture of Earth from space, but not as it looks today. It was Earth millions of years ago covered in thick clouds and volcanic fire, its primordial form. The image was followed by another, Earth in the present. Then a third, Earth in ruins. Cities buried, oceans dried, a dead world. Three frames, past, present, future. And beneath the final frame, just three words in binary. Do not provoke. Within hours, the Harbinger began rotating again, its swarm of orbiting units dispersing like a mechanical cloud. Its trajectory shifted, no longer approaching, but retreating, heading into the Oort cloud toward interstellar space. But the message had been delivered. NASA declared a deep space anomaly of interest, but avoided public alarm. The official explanation was vague. Cosmic debris interacting with solar radiation. But insiders knew. Scientists were silenced. Observatories shut down. Dr. Saros resigned the next day. Her final leaked memo simply said, We are not alone. We were never alone. And now, they know we know. The James Webb Telescope continues to scan the skies, its golden mirrors ever searching for the unknown. But one thing is certain. Something ancient watched us, measured us, judged us, and, for now, chose to leave. But what if it comes back? Or worse? What if this was just the first?